Hey friends, welcome back to Brittany Bruce Education Bible Study Series. And today what we're going to talk about is DBR. What does that mean? DBR is daily Bible reading. And I'm going to tell you why I never did it before and why I'm doing it now and why you should do it now too. But before we dive into the video, I want you to go ahead and click the link below to join us in our Facebook group where we are a community of like-minded women who are striving to get closer to the Lord, to experience Jesus, and to hear what he's calling us to do. And if you want more resources just like this, I need you to let me know. If this has been, if this series has been beneficial to you, please let me know. Please comment around this video or get in touch with me and let me know if this has been helpful. All right, guys, let's dive in to DBR. So I never did daily Bible reading. And what I mean by that is you heard like read the Bible in a year or there's a reading plan where you read something every single day. Um, and it's, it's more of like a discipline than like something that like God like says like, read this or go here or like you hear in your spirit like okay I think I'm supposed to get in Revelation today or I think I'm supposed to start with Genesis today um that's how I always studied scripture I'm not gonna lie I always was like I would rather the Holy Spirit lead me of what he wants me to read today but here's the thing the Holy Spirit never led me to Ezekiel and he never led me to Judges and he never led me to Leviticus but I was missing so much of the Bible, so much of God's word. And that is, I believe, the enemy trying to prevent me from truly wrapping my mind around the entire Bible. It was my own cockiness, my own confidence in scripture, my holy roly, like I'm gonna let the spirit lead. And you know what? Like he led me in a lot of great places. But I went to a um, future conference uh, last weekend and they explained the importance of DBR, daily Bible reading, and why we should do it on top of what we feel led to read. There's nothing wrong with being like, you know what, my spirit is anxious, my heart is anxious, and I need to really study scriptures about anxiety because that's what I need in this season right now. But that is preventing us, again, from getting a full grasp of the entire Bible. And so we need to be studying scripture, following the lead of the Holy Spirit, but we also need to be reading scripture as a discipline. And the discipline, I don't want you to see that as a negative word. I want you to see that as you strengthening your faith, just like you need to be disciplined to get in the gym. If you just go to the gym, when the Holy Spirit leads you to go to the gym, I'm going to go to the gym once a week on Monday and then never again until the next Monday. <laughs> but having a discipline of going every single Monday, no, every single day, not just Monday, not when I just feel like it, but as a discipline, it's going to grow my body in strength, in maturity. Um, it's going to lean me out. It's going to make me make decisions that I I probably wouldn't make if I wasn't working out. Like, you know what? I don't need the cupcake. I don't need the brownie. I don't want it to ruin my workout. Being disciplined in reading your scriptures and following a DBR, daily Bible reading plan, is doing the same thing through to, for your spiritual life with your faith. We need to strengthen our faith. We need to make sure that when we are constantly in scripture, in all parts of the God-breathed scriptures, that it's going to help us say no to things that we know that we shouldn't. It's going to help us be more obedient to when God's calling us to do something crazy because we've seen it in the Old Testament a hundred different times with a hundred different people who went and were, were called to do something crazy. If we never study those books, we will never be equipped and inspired to do the same thing today. So that is why we need to do a DBR. It's just a daily discipline to strengthen our faith. It's going to help us grow in our maturity in our faith and it's going to help us, um, just have a better understanding of the full aspect of the Bible. Now, how do we do this? Okay. 
If you have the MacArthur Study Bible or really any study Bible, you should, if you don't, you need a new study Bible. And the back of mine is the read through the Bible in a year plan. And what mine does is it has in the morning time a New Testament chapter and in the evening time it has an Old Testament chapter or multiple chapters for the Old Testament because it's a lot longer than the New. And so what this does is it says like for today is September 30th. So according to my Bible plan, my daily Bible reading plan, it says Ephesians chapter 3 and also Isaiah chapters 9 and 10. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to read those scriptures. I'm going to use my friction highlighters and I'm going to highlight the thing that jumps out to me. Um, and then I'm going to take my inductive Bible study journal and I'm going to pick one verse and I'm going to go deep in that one verse. And if you haven't uh, watched the inductive Bible study, like how to study your Bible, how to study scripture video, pause this video right now and go back and watch that video. And it's going to show you how to dive deep to understand scripture, to really understand what God is telling us and to hear the voice of God. And so that is how it's very simple. It literally tells you what day and what to read. And if you skip a couple days, you're sick or you want vacation or whatever, you just make it up and you keep going or skip it and then catch it next year. Like there is grace, you guys, like this is not legalism. Please do not take this discipline as legalism. Please do not email me that I'm telling you to be a legalist. I'm not. I'm helping you to be disciplined, to strengthen your faith and your maturity in your walk with the Lord. And so that's how you do it. It's very, very simple. Um, and it's called daily Bible reading. It's on top of your already quiet time that you have. If you have a journal time, a prayer time, um, and, and you just need a place to be disciplined in, do your DBR, your daily Bible reading. Incorporate that into your quiet time and watch God speak to you through the most random books, the random chapters in the Bible. It's going to be so cool. And I'm really excited for you to experience it. If you have any questions or you want to discuss further about DBR, about daily Bible reading, and you're in the Facebook group, comment below. I want to hang out with you. I want to chat with you. I would love to kind of like talk about this. Or if you have a yearly daily Bible reading plan you want to suggest from Pinterest or I mean they're everywhere so you really can't go wrong um share it with us we'd love for you to um share your resources share your knowledge with us we're here for it um and if you're not in the group we'd love to have you click the link below join us in the Facebook group and I hope this was a very valuable lesson to you and I'm excited how this DBR will change your life God is good he wants to talk to you and it's going to be through the whole Bible not just your favorite books so hope this was good for you guys. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video.